Okay, go. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Adam. I am a 49-year-old re resident of 12th Street. I'm on the Block Association and I'm a community activist. I am also a certified home health care worker. The last time I was interviewed, I was at Kings County Hospital about two and a half weeks ago. I've had a stroke on April 1st. And first I was at Maimonides, then I was sent for acute care at Kings County, and then to Roosevelt Island for subacute. And they noticed something off with my heart, and they decided to send me to Bellevue. Hopefully this is my last stop, and I'll be back in my community shortly. But I know that I would not be alive today if I had had my stroke while I was in Greenwich Village, because I might not have identified what I was experiencing as a stroke. I happened to be speaking to a visiting nurse at the time the stroke hit, and she called for the ambulance, which came in five minutes from Coney Island Hospital, and they were able to suck the clot out of my brain. And so my left side was affected, but not paralyzed, and I'm alive. If I'd been in Greenwich Village, I would be probably paralyzed on my left side, or dead. Why? We have to be three to five minutes from the hospital in any kind of acute situation. I have now been in three, at least three city hospitals, and I know that they work, and they're there for us. Why can't we get a city hospital where St. Vincent's was? We need nothing less than a full hospital with a full emergency ward and a trauma center, where if you're brought in with a stroke or a heart attack, both of which I have now had, you can be treated and get a hospital room. They called ahead when I was transferred here to Bellevue, and they knew I was coming. At 4 o'clock, they said they had a bed. I arrived here at 5, and because they're so overworked and overcrowded because of the closing of St. Vincent's, that was a madhouse down there. I didn't get into a room until the next morning at 11 a.m., oh. so I know how busy they are. They're overloaded, and they're doing their best. It's a terrific hospital. I would love to see something like this, which is what we used to have in St. Vincent's. Elizabeth, is there anything special you want to say to the members of the community board, too, who are going to be hearing this message? We need to fight for a hospital, full hospital with a, an emergency ward and a trauma center, and nothing less will do. And because we're already losing people, and I might have been one of them. And the urgent care centers that the are... Urgent care is just a big doctor's medical practice from what I can see. And what they're offering us now with this state-of-the-art medical facility is really like the rural clinic. I've seen those rural clinics out west. And if somebody really needs help, they take the chopper and they take you to a real hospital. I've already asked the representative from LIJ what they would do if I had another heart attack. And he said, we take you to another hospital, which would have meant I would have died. I'm alive today because St. Vincent's treated me. I'm alive today because Coney Island Hospital came and treated me. And what do you expect Brad Hoyleman and Joe Hamilton, Brad, the head of the Omnibus put their, Committee? Put their foot down and say nothing but a full-scale hospital will do. Thank you.